Hello guys, welcome to Expert Desert Academy. So today we're going to see um, in Civil 3D, uh, we're going to see how to actually have uh, regions split up in a corridor and then have different assemblies in different regions and also adjust the frequency of the corridor. So first, first of all, what is a frequency is basically you see number of times you see this cross sections here. So that's basically when you look at your corridor in object viewer. So if you go back to this view here, so if you zoom in, so it will show you number of times you see this cross section. So that's actually the frequency. So the more the frequency, so it's going to be more smoother. It's going to look like, but at the same time, if you have too much frequency in a location where you're not going to need, let's suggest the straight lines, uh, let's say such as these straights, um, it, it will actually make your drawings a bit more com uh, complex and it's going to slow your computers down. So uh, having unnecessary data is, is not needed. So what we're going to see in this lesson is how to actually check the frequency, adjust it and then split them into regions and then add another assembly and then have two different assemblies in a single corridor. All right. So just to understand uh, from the previous exercise, just go through those videos to show uh, I've showed you how to actually create a corridor and adjust some of those properties and then uh, change the assembly and all those ones. So in this one, we're going to let's continue doing further. OK, so first. Um, so what we're going to do is in here, create two assemblies and then probably make them look different. One will have a, a daylight. That's basically a batter. Another one, it doesn't have a daylight. It has got a guardrail. And um, so this is what we're going to do on this one. OK, so select your corridor. And then uh, on the top, you see your corridor properties. You can go there and then in the parameters, that's the second tab. Uh, you can see all the parameters for this particular corridor. So now the problem with that is like, say the corridor is as such as one single object. So if you try to change the assembly, it will change for the entire corridor. So it's not going to change for one small section. So that is going to be a problem. So now with the frequencies, uh, we can change the frequencies. Now let's say set all frequency will actually change frequency for the entire corridor. That means I can actually along the tangents for the entire corridor. I can set a value of let's say 10 meters between every 10 meters have a frequency and then for in the curves I can set it for every three meters and uh, along the spirals so I can I can I can adjust it but this will affect for the entire corridor. If you want it for specific stations, then you can actually select the specific station and then have an assembly and then you can actually um, uh, change for that specific station. See, that is a reason we would um, uh, have regions. So that way, uh, right now, you see, like uh, I wouldn't even able to add a station because right now it is including start and end station of the entire alignment. So I'm just going to click apply, apply, rebuild corridor. And then you see that it is added extra frequency in here. So which is for the set frequencies. So now if you see like all these tabs, they are specific to the entire corridor as such. It doesn't give me option to split them into regions and stuff. So what we're going to do is select your corridor on the header. There is an option that says uh, split region, add region, edit frequency and then edit targets. All these options is going to help you uh, manage your corridor much more efficiently. So what I'm going to do is let's say I'm going to show you what's inside the edit targets. So once you click on edit targets, what happens is this is going to be a bit tricky to see it if you if you got a more complex drawing. So if you keep your mouse over on top of your corridor, can you see the edges a bit glowing? And um, so that means you are selecting that particular region. If you have multiple regions, it tells you which region you're going to select it. And then when you click on it, it shows you the targets for that specific region. Right now, we have not split into any regions, so it's going to show it for the entire corridor. Um, so if you have split it, then you can actually check the targets for that. So this basically shows you for that selected region for now, it's the entire corridor. So what is your width target and what is your offset target? That's basically your widening, your uh, elevation targets and all this kind of stuff, whatever you have set it and uh, split regions you can select it and then it will ask you look at your command line select a region to split so first it says you have to pick one region and then you can split within within that so it's going to be the entire corridor now so select it and then it's asking specify the location of the region always know where your starting changes uh, so right now the starting change is right this way so i'm going to split it let's say right here and then i'm going to select this region and then I'm going to split it right here. OK, so that means the curve portion, I'm going to have it as a separate region. The straights, I'm going to have it as a separate region. So that's done. So if you want to add a new region, so you can also add a new region and uh, merge regions. You can select it and you can select this one and then this one 
press enter and then it merges into one so i'm going to split it again select it okay so that's done and um so next one is you can also copy a region so that means you can copy uh, one region and then uh, you can paste into another section as well which makes it easier so all these things are pretty easy to uh, try it out so now what we're going to do is we're going to change assemblies on all of these regions um, so we can play around with that so i'm going to click on corridor properties go to parameters now you can see there is three options here three rows here so that's your region one two and three so now this is also another quick thing. So when you're working on this window, make sure that you pan and zoom this one and on onto one of the sides. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to close this, keep this one right here, and then go to corridor properties. Now I can see both of them on the screen. So now on the parameters tab, so if I select one of the regions, it shows me which region I'm selecting, second and third. So select this one and select the assembly and uh, so now it shows you all the assembly that you have so i got only one uh, two of them so i can easily switch them so if you have multiple of them you can click on this little button here and then it will take you into the drawing and ask you to pick the assembly so when we're talking about assembly the central line is the assembly so all these other objects are sub assemblies so if you want to pick this one you have to pick the central line so that's your assembly that's your assembly so i'm going to click on this one and then you pick your assembly click ok so click OK, rebuild corridor, and now that is done. So now you may have to set your targets, boundaries, and anything that you have done, you may have to do all those kind of stuff when you switch the assembly, um, but we'll check that later. So now going back to corridor properties, keeping this aside, picking on the third one, choose this one, and switch the assembly, apply, rebuild corridor. Here we go. So now I can select it. I can go to object viewer and then when I looked at it So it looks like that. So in the middle section um, so we got um, I think something is missing right here So let's try one more time guys. So let's go back here. Ah, okay, so let's change this to assembly 3 apply Okay so maybe rebuild again just in case okay so let's go back and check it if he has applied it okay so now as you can see there are batters on the other one and then uh, and in the middle we have a, a different sub assembly so this is how actually you split a corridor into regions and then apply uh, different sub assemblies onto this one all right guys so we got lot more stuff to go through so uh, we'll wrap up this video and then we'll catch up in another video all right thanks guys thanks for watching if you like the channel subscribe to it and share it with your friends thank you